so far, uh, we've had two BIPs as applicants, so as coordinating institution. And one of those was not in the, in the frame of the Enlight uh, Alliance. Uh, that was also our first experience, our first uh, BIP. And uh, that one um, uh, ran very well. We, have, we were very pleased with that. It was very successful. Uh, two editions of that BIP uh, were organized. And at the moment, uh, next editions have been planned, uh, but then to be coordinated by one of the other partners. Uh, I believe it was mainly um, thanks to the fact that it was built on an existing collaboration uh, between the partners. So the collaboration that the universities already had contained uh, field work for one week. So this week of field work could easily be turned into the on-site week that is an obligatory week in, uh, in a blended intensive program. Uh, for the rest, um, uh, the, the entire module ran throughout the, the semester. So uh, it was a perfect um, uh, setup for, uh, for a blended intensive program. Uh, also, that BIP was part of the curriculum, and it means that, uh, that no problems occurred with recognition. Uh, of the module, so it was very beneficial for the students. Within the, the Alliance, the University Alliance, uh, the blended intensive programs uh, are mostly interdisciplinary programs. That means that they uh, cater for students from various faculties, various study disciplines. Uh, and it also means that uh, the blended intensive program is not automatically part of the curriculum. So students who apply for an interdisciplinary BIP, which is not part of their curriculum, they sometimes had problems with recognition. So they were very enthusiastic about the topic of the BIP. They applied for the BIP, but in the course of uh, um, uh, applying for the funding also to, uh, to be mobile, uh, they found out that the, uh, the on-site week and the BIP as a whole uh, could not be recognized uh, because the board of examiners for example did not accept it as part of the curriculum therefore it could not be recognized and the students would not be able to receive erasmus plus funding i think and we think that in order for more students to be able to participate um, very close collaboration between the partners is necessary and also a clear description of learning outcomes should be presented, preferably as part of a curriculum.